Hey everybody, welcome back. Let's get into that star map. We're going to be doing aggro this time. Uh, although, I, I do admit that it's probably the easier one and we should have probably done it first. Uh, so if you're going in order with me, uh, I apologize. I guess the firebats would have been slightly helpful against the zerg attack waves in the last mission. But generally it doesn't make a huge difference. So let's get going. are invading Agria. The Dominion abandoned us here. We're just a small farming colony. We've got to evacuate before we're overrun. If you can hear this message, please help us. Incoming transmission. Thank you so much for responding to our distress call, Commander. I'm Dr. Ariel Hansen, and I represent the people of the Agria colony. Pleasure to meet you, Doc. You can call me Jim. What's the situation? The Zerg have overwhelmed our planetary defenses. The colony is lost. For the past 12 hours, we've been evacuating people to the nearest starport, but the Zerg attacks have become so intense, we can't get any more through. If you can guard the highway, we can start sending the remaining groups every few minutes. Don't worry, Doc. We'll get your folks through to that starport safe and sound. I pray you're right, Commander. The Zerg are more terrible than I ever imagined. They're terrible, terrible? Anyways, uh, it's also worth mentioning that we actually would have had the, um, the mercenary compound in the in the in the mission we were doing. So maybe this is a good idea to do before the other one. But I realized that mistake after because uh, when I did this on my own, I had such an easy time uh, that I was pretty much just messing around and, and having fun with it. So you know, that's that's the only reason I bring it up. <clears throat> well, anyways. Uh, it's it's probably one of the more easier brutal missions uh, opposed to the, the first one. And here you get fire bats for a change. Is there anything there? Ready to fly. No. I forget where the. Uh, I got us some fire bats, cowboy. These suckers have got flamethrowers that'll roast the zerg, but good. Yeah, firebats are nice. They're especially good, mostly against the Zerg. They got like uh, a good 20 damage against a Zerg. It's hot. Uh, no pun intended. Alright, uh, here's the gas. Uh oh. Uh, he might die. Run away. There you go. Some pretty failure micro micro right there, but you know he survived. I could have sworn there was another one. I think I missed one somewhere. And I'm gonna assume I didn't. Maybe somewhere around here. Thank goodness you're here. I'll give you control of the main building so you can help us evacuate the colony. Oh, let's get some more fire bites out. <laughs> For now, that's the most important thing. And we also need more supply depots. Might as well go pump out another... Whoops, actually put the barracks with all the other barracks. That's probably a better idea. So I feel I feel like there's some sort of organization. I know, we're kind of low on the SCV count right now. We'll need to escort the convoys all the way to the main starport for them to have a chance of escaping this planet. The first convoy from Lark's Crossing will be moving out soon. Yeah, I have a serious shortage of resources. Maybe the other barracks wasn't such a great idea. Oh well, too late for that now. Trust me, it's not It's not like this is going to really matter in a couple of seconds. It's really simple. You know, once you get the mining going, it's, it's perfectly fine. Let's get this guy out. All right, you need to go back to mining, and we're gonna start making the r reactor. We're gonna have two b barracks in the end with reactors, because that's probably one of the more important things to have here. Besides, lots of SCVs. Don't stop for anything. Let's roll. Let's do this. All right, let's start heading up here. Someone had the right idea of building bunkers to defend the roads. Why are they empty? The Dominion military abandoned them when the Zerg attacked. 
They didn't give a damn about the colony. Sorry to hear that, Doc. At least these bunkers are in a good spot. I'll see if we can't get them manned. No, we're going to just salvage them directly right away. It's better for the money. You're not going to save them on Brutal. Uh, am I building another supply depot? No. Okay, apparently it doesn't matter. I could have sworn there would be an attack there, but apparently not. Still need more supplies. There we go. Alright, let's keep going up here. Oh, some for investment gas. Alright, and go up here. Oh, no, 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 we want to salvage that. There we go, now they don't care about it. It's okay if the, the thing gets destroyed. Uh, it's not going to affect anything. Uh, you do get plenty of opportunities. No, 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 far bet. Thank you very much. The medics kind of stayed behind. Of course, these guys aren't nearly as good at taking out this kind of stuff. Alright, let's start going back down. Wow, I am seriously low on supplies. You do not need marauders. Don't even bother with marauders. What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> Alright, we're going to go for the optional objectives really soon. Don't worry about it. I reckon we can use a mobile force to keep it clear, or build more bunkers to block the approaches. Either way should work. That's right, I kept pressing that for some reason. I'm doing this mostly just to the get that. The next convoy is almost ready to go, Commander. Please alert your men. <laughs> this better be good. Additional Oops. supply defense. We want that one. Looking forward to it. Oh, and we got these guys, so might as well bring them into the group. You know, just might as well use the mercenary compound because I found so much money. Additional supply depots required. Yeah, we're gonna need another guy on resources. Ah, let's get him on that. There you go. Ah, no. Build that and then go there. Okay. Get to the starport. Move it. So now we have a nice group, as you can see, coming along. You really do want a lot of. Uh, uh, Marines, though. Marines are, like, literally the best unit, especially in this case, because there's a lot of uh, Zerglings, and the four Firebots you have here are just more than capable of taking on anything you want. I only have two Harvesters. Let's get another one on that. The doctor is in. <laughs> and it's, when, it's not uncommon for you to actually reach 200, 200 food. Look at that, just completely smoked. And all these, all these marines have uh, stim packs, so if you need to catch up, do that. Don't struggle behind too much. That's Whatever, he's got this. Max will get this. They, they now have the improved healing too, which is awesome. Alright. And two more medics. Whoops, no, no, no. Do not go here. See, see how far back that attack was, and then they start coming here, and I built a Marauder apparently by accident. Not enough and you know, just stim up occasionally. Oh, and I lost a fire bat. Oh well. Not a big deal. Go let, go let Red do, uh, sorry, White do whatever he wants. There you go. It was not even a problem. All right. Well, uh, on your way back, uh, you know, there's there's two just two more uh, DNA chrysalis researches, so you might as well go do those. You pick up a little bit of money on the way. We're gonna need some more supply depots, though. And that'll be enough for that. Don't worry, he won't leave for a while. And I think there was a stupid ass mailing there. He is stupid ass. Because I just noticed I lost a bunch of health there. Commander, another convoy will be heading out soon. 
Uh, and another firebot going to die. Oh, yes he did. Just that one last hit. Darn it. I get, I'm rebuilding some of them, so it's okay. So the next time you go out, uh, you're gonna have uh, a ton more uh, units. So you know what? You're not. You're laughing all the way on this mission. Just keep re re restocking. Might as well bring a. Oh well, actually, in 20 seconds. Come on, we're almost done. We can get more. Oh, looks like they're ready to move out, though. Don't leave without us. Go, go, go. Wouldn't even think about it. There we go. More marines. You gonna give me orders? Marines are just so damn good. Oh, we can also get armor. I kind of failed to do that. All right, and build a couple more supply depots. They usually don't attack down here, I don't think so, at least. You can see that there's a little bit more down here, though. But we're gonna go down there next time. Oh, these poor Zerg. You gotta feel sorry for them. They didn't even stand a chance. Eventually, you just get this huge ball, and it's just great for this mission. Oh, there's some game behind. Oh, here. Oh, that would that would almost went down. That that was a distraction right there. I don't think this could be healed though. Uh, maybe it can by an SCV. All right, I'm just keeping the building going down there. It's almost got it. Too bad the white marine's dead. Oh. Couple more I'm burrowed. Alright, I think it's safe now. So wait for it to go completely up, sometimes there's like a last minute attack and it sucks. Alright, you're good. Look at that. <laughs> so many. Oh, uh, let's get some more. And we're gonna need actually more supplies. You don't want to venture too much into this corner there. They have like a Zerg base or something. There's really no point in going there. We got most of the research as well. Sir, we just detected Zerg organisms entering the upper atmosphere. I can't give you an exact fix, but they're heading your way. Might as well make a couple more fire bats. Have another convoy ready to be escorted, Commander. Okay, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't think there's any more resource things anywhere. Uh, but you know, we might as well just head back. And we can almost get one more thing of war pigs, but yeah, we're gonna have two more convoys as it is, so we're probably gonna get max out the war pigs. I don't really focus too much on the uh, uh, the the mercenaries too much. I don't find them to be totally useful. I find uh, spending units on upgrading units is much better. But eventually, yeah, I'll I'll invest into some of them. Don't worry about it. <laughs> like the siege breakers are absolutely insane for defense. By the numbers, boys. I love the siege Everyone's breakers. Here. Let's go. They're the they're the hero he siege tanks. Been waiting on. We have like tons of gas now. Might as well just put this guy over there. This better be good. We'll do. Like the day and night effects. It's now getting kind of like. Bam. <laughs> and now we're now we're fully upgraded as much as we can be. Oh yeah, here comes these attacks. These ones are always fun. And as soon as they spawn, they die. Nah, don't 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 even bother with that. The colonists are hurt. We gotta save them. And you can you can just stim up this entire army. It really doesn't freaking matter. I just I just prefer to save it for time that they need to move up or or anything like that. They don't actually fill these things all the way. Stupid colony transports. We're losing all money here. There we go. And then you come up here because they're usually you want to stay a little bit ahead of them because usually it's going to come up there. Yeah, look look at that. <laughs> it went right to the group of marines right there. 
And uh, Firebats are armored, so they don't actually take that extra damage. I think it's everybody. I keep forgetting to keep building. Yeah, they, they're good. Alright, just head back. I forgot to build up uh, half the time. I'm gonna need more supplies, though. Bup, bup, bup. Might as well start building up here, then. I just have so much money. And now I've officially just expended everything I can there. Maybe we should just build marauders for fun. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Oh wow, I'm actually Not running out of money. Minerals. Probably because I'm building so many supplies. Up seismic disturbances closing in on your position. I think it's some kind of tunneling, Zerg. Not it. Not that. It's just like him to keep things nice and interesting. We're almost done, Commander. Another convoy will be starting out soon. Armed and ready. That's a rather large ball. <laughs> sure. Want a piece of me, boy? Damn. I love, I love large, large turn balls. They're just great. Um, you know, I, <laughs> I just realized what I just said. <laughs> I think we all love large turn balls, don't we? <laughs> oh man. You know, I, I didn't even think of that. That's, that's the best, that's the best thing ever. Anyways. Is the road safe up ahead? We'll find out. I guess we will. <laughs> Man. Not I made an oops. Oh, we're at 210 food finally, which means I can just get rid of that. And build some more marines. Man, I can't even fit these guys all out. Oh, whoops. Oh, good thing they were attacking. Because I didn't even pay attention. wonder if I hold position, what will happen? Yeah, you can't even go. <laughs> Dude, he can attack the bottom? Wow. I assumed he would have to attack this something on the same plane, but okay. Do you see that light in the middle there? That's that's cool as hell. That's from coming from that lighting thing. Alright. Let's just uh build more marines. I've officially expended all my resources. Didn't get uh to two hundred two hundred like I, I figured I probably would. Alright. Stim. And we just catch up right here, and we get these guys. There's gonna be a nice worm there. Yeah, I figured. There we go. We're done. Except for this one. <laughs> Didn't even stand a chance. Alright, we'll go hang out with the colonists right over here. Swarm of bees. Oh yeah, th this one actually forces you to move out of the way. I don't know how they do this, uh, do it, but they actually managed to fit in this entire thing over here. That's the last of them. Go, lift off now. Armed and we've lost the colony. My people got out alive, thanks to you, Commander. Yeah, I, I don't even know why they di they made, removed all my marines. They, they could have easily fended that off. Stupid game. <laughs> Alright, well, I completed all the mission objectives. Um, I didn't lose a single truck. Uh, I didn't even lose a, 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 a single uh, colonist either, actually. And uh, th this one, you don't uh, lose a you don't lose a structure. You just have like a good amount of units defending each bunker, and you have the smaller f mobile force. It's actually kind of easy, and we get a lot of money for that, which is good for us. Time to invest into those uh, marine shields, or maybe something else. We'll we'll see what we get. As soon as this baby loads or crashes. Nope, loads.
Great job, sir. Dr. Hansen's offered to stay on with us for now, and I think her skills will be invaluable. It's hard to believe I'm even here. Great to have you, Doc. How are you planning on pitching in? Well, your medical facilities are medieval, and your science expertise is non-existent. Perhaps I could start there? Ouch. Well, I guess you might be able to teach Stedman a thing or two. Welcome aboard, Doc. Here we go to the cantina for some reason. I actually had missed this the last time I noticed it. It's uh it's from Marsara. We got a couple of new mercenaries, let's see what we got. Let's get down to business. And we get the fire bats, I'm guessing, because that's what we got from the last mission. Um probably wouldn't bother with that for now. You meet Dr. Hansen yet? Show did. I asked that sweet thing if she'd like to give me a physical. No harm in asking, right? I think she's got her eye on some pansy ass, though. Yeah? Who might that be? Oh, I don't know. Some white knight kind of guy came charging down to save a colony, maybe. Damn, Jimmy. You never could be the ladies. Uh, okay, I think that's pretty much it. Oh, the news. Donny Vermillion, UNN. We've got Kate Lockwell on remote feed from Agria, a fringe colony. Are you there, Kate? Okay, we seem to be having a sound problem with... I'm being told Emperor Mansk is going to address us directly. Let's take you to his announcement already in progress. My finest military minds are being brought to bear, and it's my pleasure to announce that they'll soon be led by the hero of Taurus himself, General Horace Warfield. Warfield? I thought he retired years ago. With General Warfield at the helm, and our finely honed Dominion military under his command, I have every confidence that this new Zerg threat will be contained very soon. There you have it, viewers. With Warfield in command, the Zerg Swarm will be defeated in no time. Up next, Raynor ups his campaign of terror just as the Zerg reappear. Coincidence? You decide after these messages. <laughs> All right, let's head down to the armory first. Just keep those colonists out of my armory. That's a disaster just waiting to happen. And we got the fire button now. Volatile mixes of gas that seep into up, <laughs> seep into the operator compartment. They're uh, universally resocialized criminals or psychotic <laughs> pyromaniacs. Oh, that's awesome. They spew combustoplasma at enemy, enemy targets. They are literally cooked inside their own skins. Nice. So that's like a marauder suit, except far badash. All right, let's check out the armory console. So for this one, we got plus two armor on firebats, which is uh, you know you're not going to be using firebats much, well, or at least I won't. You know, both of these things seem kind of nice, uh, if, if I did use firebats a lot. But you know, against swarming zerglings, I'd rather have certain types of units. And firebats are pretty effective on their own, as it is. I've already said that this is, like, we get the, the, the tech reactors later, so don't even worry about that. This is good. We get that. Let's see base. And we also have the unit uh, range, which uh, raises the range, which, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Why not? We have the money. Now bunkers are fully upgraded. Well, not quite fully. Now we're going to go fully upgrade them. Commander, the alien artifact is all secure in the lab, sir. You know, seeing it got me to thinking about my special projects. Whoa, slow down, Stedman. What do you mean, projects? You doing some kind of research down here? Yeah, well, you know, not yet, sir. I still need some additional specimens to get things going. Once I get those, we can make some big improvements to our weapon systems and tactics. Well, I'm all for that. What do you need? All kinds of things. 
I've entered the details into our database. If you run into something on a mission that we need, you'll be notified automatically. Just try not to blow up the ship, okay, Stedman? Alright, let's go to the research console first. And, uh, it's gonna first count us up. And the very first thing we do get is one of these, which is awesome, because uh, you have the option between a strike turret, which is, uh, or strike, whatever. It adds these little two dinky turrets on top of the bunkers, so they can defend themselves even when uh, there's nobody there. I don't know why it seems that, yeah, okay, they alternate, never mind. Okay, this thing sucks. <laughs> I hate to say it, it sucks, because you're, you're not going to build bunkers, bunkers unless you're going to man them, so... And the firepower is like minimal. Look at this. Look how long it takes to take kill one zergling. No, this is what you want. It's 150 life, and you use bunkers for tanking, anyways. Get that. And we'll we'll continue along the lines of what else you should get uh, when when I continue in that research tree. And here's the artifact. Oh, commander, commander, commander! I've been giving these artifacts some thought. Oh, don't worry. I know what you're going to say. I haven't been running diagnostics on them or anything. Well, at least not directly, at any rate. Just spit it out, son. Well, sir, when the second piece was added, the ambient containment field spiked drastically. Hmm? Huh? I know. If we add any more pieces, we'll need to draw even more power from the ship's fusion core to maintain the field. So holding these things is dangerous and expensive. Well, the sooner we get them off my ship, the better. Alrighty. <coughs> Let's check out the Zerg tank. Uh, okay, interesting. Uh, yeah, okay. Have you seen my stapler? Little hint, it's red. <laughs> oh, there's some minerals. Uh, density has increased in 5,000, uh, sorry, 500% in the last 12 hours. Huh. I don't think there's anything else in here for me to look at, though. That's basically everything. That's it. Gonna have to start pretending like I'm working. Now, let's check out the bridge. It sure felt good rescuing those folks. But there's millions more out there that need help, too. We can't be everywhere at once, sir. The important thing is that we set an example and gave them hope. And every time we help folks in need, it's another step on the road to a better future. I know, Matt. But it's been four years, and we're still no closer to bringing Minx down. Now with the Zerg back in the mix, your better future needs to hurry up and get here, or there's going to be no one left to see it. Okay. Uh, oh, and Hanson has something. I've heard a lot about you, Commander. The Dominion always portrayed you as a criminal, a terrorist. There's more to you than it seems. Well, with the Dominion being what it is, someone's got to stand up for the little guy. Sure ain't gonna be Minsk. Doesn't seem like the Emperor cares at all. My people from Agria and displaced populations from across the sector have all fled to a refugee staging area on Meinhof. There are reports of violence and disease spreading throughout the camps, but the Emperor's done nothing. I'll look into it, Doc. Okay. Well, I think that's it for today. So, uh... Guess, uh, we'll see some more later. Bye.